Good day everyone, I'm here to share and to illustrate my understanding about the Annex 1, 2, 3, and 4. First, we're going to start at Annex 1. Annex 1 is the regulation of the prevention of pollution by oil entered into the date of 2 October 1983. So, for Annex 1, it covers the prevention of pollution by oil from operational measures as well as from accidental discharges. So, 1992 amendments to Annex 1 made it mandatory for new oil tankers to have double hulls to prevent from um, like the oil spill like that this is the use of double hull for the ground and brought in pace in schedule for existing tankers to fit double hulls which has subsequently revised in 2001 and 2003 next is annex 2 Annex 2 is the regulations for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substances involved. Entered into force 2 October 1983. It details the discharge criteria and measures of the control of pollution by noxious liquid substances carried in bulk. Some 250 substances were evaluated and include that in the list appended to the convention the discharges of the residues is allowed only in reception facilities until certain certain tiers and conditions which vary category of substances are complied with next is annex 3 annex 3 is the prevention of pollution by harmful substances carried by sea in package from entered into force 1st of July 1992. It contains general requirements for the issuing and detailed standards of pack packing, marking, labeling, documentation, stowage, quantity, limitations, exceptions, and notifications. For Annex 3, it the use of it is um, to identify the product or the containers, what is in it, or goods, or a chemical. It is important to label it so it is not hard to identify what the discharges of the residues is allowed only in reception facilities and the certain certain tiers and conditions which vary category of substances are complied with next is annex 3 annex 3 is the prevention of pollution by harmful substances carried by sea in package from entered into force 1st of july 1992 it contains general requirements for the issuing and detailed standards of pack packing marking labeling documentation storage, quantity, limitations, exceptions, and notifications. For Annex 3, it, the use of it is um, to identify the product or the containers, what is in it, or goods, or a chemical. It is important to label it so it, it's not hard to identify what harmful substance or a good substance next is annex 4 annex 4 is a prevention of pollution by sewage from ships entered into force 27th september 2003 it contains requirements to control pollution to the sea by sewage the discharge of the sewage into the sea is prohibited except when the ship has an operation an approved sewage treatment plan or when the ship is discharging minuted and disinfect sewage using an approved system at a distance of more than three nautical miles from the nearest land. Sewage which is not comminuted or disinfected has to be discharged at a distance of more than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land. So it is clear that a ship 
cannot discharge when the shore is near because it can harm the um, the coral reefs like that um, and also the shore will get um, dirty because of the discharge like the sewage and also it's bad for people if we release the sewage to the nearest land and it has the possibility to um, the people will get some um, side effects or uh, bacteria that may cause them to sickness and that's all for today and thank you for listening god bless you all